All right, so now in this video, we're going to use this uh, light dependent resistor, photo resistor, sometimes called, to control the comparator. That's a LM393. So the main property for this component, this is an LCR meter, the DE5000, and uh, all I have to do is turn it on. It automatically starts auto measuring whatever components you put in the slot. So this doesn't have polarity. That's for capacitors, but uh, the uh, polarized capacitors. But there's a couple little slots. Usually it slides in pretty easy. And there, with the lamp at the lowest setting, we have four kilo ohms. Higher setting, the brighter the light, 1.7 kilo ohms. Even brighter, uh, 1.2 kilo ohms. So that's 1,200 ohms. I got a flashlight here. I'll focus the light on there. Try not to block the uh, camera. You can see we got about uh, 0 0.2, so 200 ohms, a little bit more. And uh, if I turn the light off, cover it, uh, it says uh, pretty much 0 0.3 mega ohms, so 300,000 ohms. So now I have the light dependent resistor up here, the photo resistor. I'm going to take a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor because that was somewhat near the middle of the range of the photo resistor based on the uh, different levels of light so not quite halfway but uh, but uh, close enough because we're gonna put this to the negative rail we have the photo resistor at the uh, positive rail there let's zoom in zoom in there and uh, so I'm gonna take this resistor put it to the negative rail and that will give us a voltage divider. They both come to the same row. We're going to put that to one of the pins coming up. But I wanted to put it here first to make it a little easier to see. So what's the uh, setting there? So the lamp was at its... We could we could measure it at this setting right now. Uh, right now it's zero volt. So we just put the uh, black probe anywhere to the rail there. And uh, it's kind of an awkward angle. But... Uh, Oops, I don't have the power supply on. So here we have uh, 1.18 volts with the light down. We'll turn it up. So this lowers the resistance of the light dependent resistor, which is to the positive rail. Since it's to the positive rail, that will give us a higher voltage as the resistance goes down. You can see 2.5. So that's the halfway mark. When we go to this brightness setting 3.46 and to the brightest setting uh, 3.85 volts so now we'll zoom in on the component a little more so this is the LM393 it's a dual comparator there's a comparator on this side and a comparator on that side we're only going to use one comparator so this one I already have the resistor so this is a 1 kilo ohm resistor, 1000 ohm resistor to the output. Now, the output, when it goes low, it actually has a transistor in there. I was looking at the data sheet. That actually puts you directly to ground. And so we need a positive supply up here. As far as I can tell, this is a new component to me. But it definitely works, you'll see, when we're done. So, we have the line lead, the anode of the LED we have to put up here. Short lead, the cathode, goes to the resistor, which comes to the output. We need to put it that way so it'll conduct. If we put it the other way, all it will do is uh, block current. So, that's it for the output. Now, all we have to do is uh, the other input. So, we shuffled these two components down to get the same voltage that we had before to the non-inverting pin. So, when we have a high output here, a higher voltage than uh, what we set with this one at the uh, non-inverting pin then the output will be high the LED will be off and uh, so the LED will turn on when this voltage is lower than that voltage so we're gonna take a jumper this is a trim pot we can adjust the voltage manually with this I do that all the time so I'm not gonna go into much detail on that I can go from 0 volts to 5 volts at the output here and these uh, inputs, they don't accept any current. 
so I got it to the non-inverting input they just measure the voltage and so right now the power is off and uh, I'm gonna set the lamp to its lowest setting right now the way we have it wired the LED comes on when it's dark now when I turn it's uh, not block the light dependent resistor but uh, I turn the light to its lowest setting now it turned off and that's actually a little more sensitive than I want but you can see here that uh, if I kind of block the light from the, uh, the ceiling then the uh, LED comes on so I want to adjust that which we can easily do we have this turn pot about halfway so it's about 2.5 volts and uh, at this setting I want it unless I'm blocking the photoresistor I want it on and uh, let's get a, about to where it's full brightness but no more than that so we can set it there and so if I kind of shade the ceiling light a little bit it doesn't turn off and uh, so it doesn't change I should say so now let's go a little bit brighter there we go that's the medium setting and highest setting so I kind of have four light settings two lower ones and then two higher ones so you can see this is adjustable to uh, where the light goes so now if we want to uh, swap how this works for whatever reason we want the LED on when it is brighter and off when it's darker one thing we can do is just shuffle where the pins are or we could shuffle which side of the component here is a positive and negative and I probably should have turned the power supply off but now let's swap it so the resistor is on the positive side and the uh, light dependent resistor is on the negative side now you can see with the light brighter the LED is on now with it darker the LED was off and uh, we'd have to make a little bit more adjustment to have uh, two light levels where it's off this is very low this is low again we can adjust it so let's do that right now we want it off and we want it on fully when we got the two lower settings so there we can see that so you can you can adjust it that way or we could have just swapped I'm not going to do that it's going to take a little too much time but we could have left these two the way they were with the light dependent resistor on the positive side and just move it up these uh, two move them up to the inverting pin and move this down to the non inverting pin we would have got about the same results we may have had to do a little adjusting this is a one kilo ohm trim pot by the way the value of the trim pot doesn't really matter all it's doing is giving out a voltage no currents flowing to throw off that voltage that's one thing to be aware of but uh, this isn't allowing any current in just measuring its voltage so it's holding the voltage of that taking a reading and uh, responding accordingly